Welcome. Today I will try to show you how to build your own VS Code team. So, what is VS Code? VS Code is a code editor and it's pretty popular around developers. So, why VS Code? Because VS Code has marketplace. In marketplaces, you can uh, pretty customize anything on uh, VS Code. But today we will build a theme which customize the colors. And to get started, we need some programs like you can guess VS Code and then Node. We need Node.js. So if you have Node.js installed on your computer, just type Node-V on your terminal and you should see your version. Okay. And you have to install some npm packages npm install dash g globally yo and generator code i already installed them so i don't need to continue and um, what is yo uh, yo is for yeoman and uh, with yeoman we are generating boilerplate for our theme to get started just type yo code with that yeoman will ask us some questions and we need to answer so today we will build a color theme, so choose new color theme and hit enter and then it is asking us do you want to import or convert an existing text made color theme? No, you just start fresh and you should name your extension. So I'm not going to publish this extension, I can name it whatever I want, test theme. What is identifier of your extension? You can hit enter to use the same name. And it asks you for a description. So this is for test. I'm gonna leave it empty. It's asking us what's the name of your DEEM shown to user. It's uh, asking us the human readable name. So I can name it as test DEEM. It's asking us a base DEEM. So I will choose dark. You, if you want to publish it, please uh, choose Y, but I'm not going to publish it, so I will choose N, and it's generated a folder for us. Go to your theme folder and run your VS Code. Okay, my VS Code is opened. Your uh, folder should like this. We have package JSON, important, and the readme, and also change log where we share our updates. And then the important part is your Dean JSON file. We will work with this to change our Dean. We have a name, uh, which is your na uh, Dean name, and we have a type, which is dark, and we have background foreground colors for the editor, and then we have token colors, it changes syntax color. How can I um, see the Dean? live so we are using vs code and we can use its advantages so just press f5 it should debug your theme in another vs code window so mine was is opened we can take it here as you can see it is running my vs code theme and as you can see it says extension development host which is only designed for development purposes to see changes uh, we can change something like uh, I want to change the background to red to see it save it and go back to editor as you can see this ugly thing but I think you get the idea behind the JSON change it back to something okay uh, hit back as you can see it's up reload okay I get it but how can I change for example the public syntax here uh, this file is PHP so with your theme you can change colors for specific languages or you can change color for general first we have to find token name for the public so to learn it, VS Code gives us something called, uh, which is developer inspect editor tokens and scope. How you can run it, just on Windows, Control Shift and Pay, it open up our common palette. So 
I like to choose developer inspect editor token sound scopes but if you can't see don't worry just type developer and uh, inspect you will see that when you run it okay I will click public so it says text language standard token type foreground background something like that we have text mix scopes you can find your token they all pointing this but some are specific some are pretty general so to, to change public color I will go with storage modifier because currently it gets its color from here I copy that and head back to our original this code and control F to search and I will paste what token we want okay it's fine it and as you can see we have settings inside settings there's a foreground which changes its color currently it's purplish something to say it's better I just choose red say head back as you can see our storage modifier color changed to red and for function it also uses storage type so its color also changed but what if I want to just change only the public color so you will copy that and go to back your theme file if you search for it you should see nothing because the default boilerplate is not focused on PHP you should um, do it yourself go down and create curly braces give it a name it doesn't matter it's just for you to understand it I just say PHP 1 scope is important in scopes we are defining the tokens we want to change so it's an array because you can change multiple token colors just paste what we find but important you shouldn't leave blank space inside it back the bottom settings um, VS Code auto fills that so it's cool but it gives us font style which we don't need I'm gonna delete that and we can change the foreground to something different like this red uh, green color save it and head back to our development you see public change to green our foreground token and change to storage modifier PHP it's basically that but if you want to have a good team you should spend your time on that because it has too much things okay we built our team to package your team you need npm package called vsca just type npm install dash g for globally vsce i already did that so we filled the package json um, you have to add publisher name author name make sure your version is right and then just type vsca package it says repository field is missing so as i mentioned earlier i'm not going to publish this theme so i didn't create a repository at y and it says packaged so you see this is our test theme but how can i use it uh, locally just type code dash dash install extension and your package name and hit enter it's installing it and you see extension was successfully installed color theme and it is dark so in it should yeah it's in here so click that you see our theme is working to publish it you should follow VS Code's um, original guide. So I will leave it, leave it in the description. You can follow it. Thank you for watching. See you next time.